is synonymous with Virginia Tech and with good reason. Over his three-decade career there, Frank Beamer put the Hokies and Hokie football on the national map. His son Shane was born in South Carolina and has returned to his home state to hopefully return the Gamecocks to that same national level. Ooh, four strong. Throughout the seven previous stops in his coaching career, Shane Beamer did a lot of recruiting, but he was always the first contact in the process. Now as the head coach at South Carolina, he's trying to close the deal rather than just open the door. It's fun. It's, uh, I'm a competitor, and uh, certainly you want to get everybody that you recruit, but it's awesome just being able to uh, go into living rooms, go into living rooms, or have prospects come in this office and being able to just be myself and be me and, and sell and talk to them about our plan for Carolina football. And that plan is to return the Gamecocks to the top of the SEC. No small feat considering the competition. But in his last stop in Columbia under Steve Spurrier, South Carolina won a division title and beat Georgia, Clemson, and Alabama all in the same season. He knows from experience it can be done. It's not something that way back in 1960-something South Carolina did. We did it not that long ago. So Beamer is back, replacing Will Muschamp. He was contacted the day after Muschamp was fired and had a 90-minute phone conversation with Athletic Director Ray Tanner. He prepared 10 pages of notes for the call, things he wanted to make sure that he said. But he never looked at his notes once, conveying his interest simply through his enthusiasm. I said it was a dream job, and, and it really was. It wasn't just what I was trying to say in the interview to get the job. I really, truly have wanted to be here, and our family has wanted to be here for a long time, and just making sure that they understood that um, by the time I got off the phone. The knock on Beamer is that he's never been a head coach at any stop or at any level. You oversee so many things. He admits nothing ever fully prepares anyone to be a head coach, but also believes what he has done has prepared him enough for the challenge that he has accepted. I've coached offense and defense, so I've got experience on both sides of the ball. I've been a special teams coordinator. The, the special teams coordinator is the only coach on the staff other than the head coach that has to stand in front of the room and talk to the entire team. So when I got hired and I had my very first team meeting as the head football coach at South Carolina, I had done that before. Beamer was an associate head coach under his father in Blacksburg and had designs on replacing him. But Virginia Tech AD Whit Babcock made it clear to both Shane and Bud Foster that the program was going in a different direction when Frank retired. He met with us both individually. Bud's office was right across the hall from me. And he came in and he sat down and told me, you're not going to be a candidate to be the head coach here. And he told Bud the same thing. You know, I'd be lying if I said that wasn't a, a disappointment to hear that. But I do appreciate um, Whit having that conversation. And, and it certainly has you know, worked out great for me since then. South Carolina built a $50 million football facility next to its state-of-the-art indoor practice center, all to help Beamer keep up with the Alabamas and Georgias of the world. But he has something they don't, a Hall of Fame advisor who is always one phone call away. I had that living, breathing example for, you know, I'm 44 now, 44 years of watching him, you know, as a as a football coach and, and learning from him and seeing how he did things. My problem is I've got three kids. My sister lives in Charlotte. She's got three kids. So he's more interested in being granddad right now than he is football coach. And I'm like, man, like, I need your help. Uh, you be granddad in the summer times. Like, I need you here helping me. As the son of a coach, Beamer understands the spotlight is not always so friendly. Yep. His children have witnessed four straight conference championships watching their dad at Georgia and then Oklahoma. They know what it's like during the good times. Beamer has tried to prepare them for what could happen on those Mondays after a loss. They're very blessed that they get to experience a lot of things because of my job, but there's also some challenges that, that come with that as well. When I got my driver's license, when I turned 16 in Blacksburg, Virginia, and I go to the DMV in Christiansburg, and the guy hands me my driver's license and how excited I am, and it's the day that I've looked forward to, and I grabbed it and he held on to it, and he looked me right, and this was after the Virginia Tech had just gone two, eight, and one, I guess. And he looked right at me and he said, if you want to keep this thing, you tell your dad he better win some football games around here. And, you know, crush me. But coaches don't focus on how things might go wrong. They are only concerned with how they will succeed. In Beamer's case, it's borrowing a page or two from his father's playbook. And not just creating Beamer Ball 2.0, but in creating something more lasting. To me, you win with people. And we've got some great people in this building and, and that are eager to be successful. So that... 
that excites me and motivates me each day to be doing it with, with these guys as well. And we're not average here anymore. You know, the culture, the environment, whatever you want to call it, that we want to be about, just focusing on that and being the very best that we can, you know, can be each and every day. And, and confident that if we do that, you know, the wins will take care of themselves. Beamer just doesn't get advice from his father either. His eight year old son Hunter had the most practical words earlier this summer when he told Shane just don't get fired this year. South Carolina opens their season on September 4th at home against Eastern Illinois.